Okay, good morning, Ephrata. My name's Autumn. And I'm Drew. And today is Tang Tuesday, December 10th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Holiday meal will be served Tuesday, December 10th in the dining room. The, sna the snack room will be closed, but the Media Center Cafe will be open and some of the items will still be available in the vending machine. In February, Epic's local VFW will host a dinner celebrating the winners of the audio essay competition called Voice of Democracy. Established in 1947, the Voice of Democracy program awards students for writing and recording patriotic essays. Each year, nearly 40,000 high school students enter to compete for their share of $2.1 million of scholarships. The dinner will, will honor two Ephrata high school students. <laughs> uh, Leah Kreider earned second place at the local level and third place in the district. AJ Mart earned fourth place at the local level. Congratulations, Leah and AJ. Finally, the Social Studies Department would like to thank all students who participated in the Voice of Democracy contest. The deadline for CTC applications is swiftly approaching. December 20th is the deadline for the application to be completed. You can go to the EHS counselor's website <laughs> or, refer to, <laughs> or refer, <laughs> refer to your Schoology message for the link and instru <laughs> instructions. If you have any questions, please see your counselor for help. Attention all students, this year we'll, we will be hosting another teacher sing-a-thon. Be sure to keep your eye out for which teacher partner groups will be in the running for a live singing on Effort AM. Pain will take place all this week during your lunches. Donate money and help local families in need this holiday season. Now over to Isaiah for the thought of the day. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Isaiah Hornberger and I have the thought of the day. Wayne Gretzky, a professional hockey player, once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This quote shows that you can't succeed unless you try. For example, you can't win the lottery if you never buy a ticket. In conclusion, everyone should take a chance, no matter what you think the outcome might be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, attention ski and snowboard, snowboard. <laughs> snowboard club, please remember to get your paperwork completed and return to Miss Brimhall. No paperwork means you don't get to go on the bus, which means you don't get to ski. Take care of this now so you don't forget over winter break. Ephrata High School's theater program is proud to announce this year's spring musical will be The Wizard of Oz, with performance dates in April 2020. The Wizard of Oz is now celebrating 80 years of magic, the beloved tale which a Kansas farm girl travels over the rainbow to discover the magical power of home, has been entertaining audiences for generations. Adapted for live stage performances, recreates the dialogue and structure of the M MGM classic film, nearly scene for scene. Those students interested to learn more about how you can be part of this production, whether on stage, behind the scene, pit orchestra, stage crew, or, ha or have a few questions of your own, there will be an informational meeting held on Monday, December 16th at 3.30 p.m. in the auditorium. At that time, the directors will review the audition process, stage crew procedure, and pit requirements. We would like to encourage those students with experience in dance, particularly in tap, jazz, or ballet, to consider attending the informational meeting. Auditions are scheduled for January 6th, 7th, with callbacks on the 8th at 3.30 p.m. Please note, you are not required to audition for the musical if following your attendance to the informational meeting, you are not, if you are not interested. All, ro all roles are open. You do not need to be involved in theater or music program to audition. The musical will be directed and choreographed by Mr. Gonzalez with vocal direction by Mrs. Osinski and Pitt or Orchestra director, Mrs. Klinger. Attention all 11th graders on Friday, November, not November, December 13th, the class of 2021 will be participating in a financial literacy <laughs> event hosted by the organization <laughs> called Junior Achievement. You'll be participating in games, competitions, and activities that relate to finances and budget building that will start at the end of first period and wrap up around 2 p.m. You'll be assigned to a team and teacher to help guide you through the event, which will be shared in homeroom this Friday before the event begins. Now over to Trevor with the news. 
<laughs> what happened today? Oh god! Oh, something Russian officials feuding! Oh, 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 oh. News! Get, get off me. That took forever. Um, but finally, we're here with the news. Uh, in today's news, a lawsuit has been filed by a bunch of high school students against the University of California <laughs> in order to make them drop their, it's not, it's not funny, to make them drop their SAT slash ACT score requirements in their admissions. According to the students, the use of these uh, scores are not a meaningful way to judge a person's academic ability and it discriminates against wealth. On this day in history, the first Nobel Prizes were awarded in Stockholm, Sweden. Awards were given in physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. Today, the awards are regarded as among the most prestigious of honors. Now over to uh, the, some of the Effort AM friends with, with lunch. It's, it's lunch time for lunch. Today we have... Wait, is this the right day? Is this the you right ruin everything! <laughs> We're going, okay. it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. So Co today This we, is me combat rolling right here after I say lunchtime. Ah, today. Combat roll. Today we have turkey and gravy with filling, whole grain roll and margarine. Ham and cheese sandwich. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Buffalo chicken. Whipped potatoes. Mm. Mm. Glazed sweet potatoes. Uh, coleslaw. Ugh. Assorted <laughs> fresh fruit. Slush. Oh, also, there's cranberry sauce and a festive cookie. Festive cookie? <laughs> Yay. Love all. Basketball is home versus Garden Spot, and the girls are away at Garden Spot. Swimming is home versus McCaskey, and Rifle is away at Governor Mifflin. The varsity effort at Quiz Bowl team rebounded after its loss to Hemfield with a 2-1 win victory over Lancaster Mennonite. Strong performances were made by both Braden Mulcahy and Zeke Jones with Peyton Miller, contributing key answers in the third round. The round scores were 360-200, 190-330, to 335 to 235. Meanwhile, at the JV level, Hannah Logan Braden Huff led the team to its fourth straight victory, remaining undefeated in round play with three nothing with a three nothing win. Their overall round record remains perfect at 12 nothing. The round scores were 155 to 125, 200 to 50, and 260 to 45. Now back to the main desk. It's that time of year again. It's time to go nuts for donuts. That's right. After the Student Council is running its annual Christmas charity to benefit six local families this holiday season. And with everyone's help, we can make this a very special Christmas for these wonderful families in need this holiday season. Your homeroom teacher has kindly picked out an ornament with a gift on it. Your job is to raise enough money to buy that gift together as a homeroom. <laughs> the homeowner that raises the most money, buys the most gifts, or does any combination of the two rece will receive a deluxe donut party on the last day of school before Christmas break. <laughs> a deluxe donut party <laughs> has all the fixings from hot chocolates, donuts, to Christmas cookies, to coffee, to bagels, to fruit, to juice, you name it, you'll have it. And it's enough for the entire homeroom. The runner of homeroom will receive a regular donut party, which is just, <laughs> just donuts. <laughs> Third place will receive high fives from future president of the United States, Mr. Marzok, which is totally better than all the other prizes. So, bring in some loose change and bring in a new gift, or do both, and help out some local families this holiday season. That's it for us today, Ephra. Have, Have a great, great day. day. Make sure you follow oh, our Instagram, oh, Ephra in the oh, AM. At Ephra in the AM. Yeah. At Ephra in the AM. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have a past to be crying in my hallway? It's news time.
Hi, I'm Wallace. Good evening, Jeffrey. Yes, the show is with us in life. Very bad Friday. Get the camera off of me. Why do you? You bury the blood. I feel your blood. You can thank Kevin and Oliver. Do you believe in the lies of society? Bananagram. I smell kids who no passion. I'm really dead. Oh, my uh, record should be right now. Please follow us on Instagram or paper for attention. It's that time of year again. Light and sound.